Today we're going to learn how to do sepia tones and duotones with this image. So go to your Photoshop folder and open the image called Guys Singing. We're going to do three different things to this image and save each one along the way. First is sepia tone. Sepia tone gives it this brownish kind of old timey look to it and um, portraits tend to look really good in sepia tone. The next one is called duotone. I see this a lot in advertising. I've you know seen it recently on Spotify um, and many other different types of ads, especially when we, we have people in the images. So let's start with the basic sepia tone. You go to image, adjustments, desaturate, image, adjustments, photo filter. And then you can move this to look at your picture as we work with it, but grab this triangle on the density bar and move it slowly to the right. We don't want to go all the way right because then they look like Oompa Loompas, but we want to keep it in the 60s or 70s. I kind of like about there, 72. Click OK, and now that is sepia toned. Go to File, Save a Copy. We're going to call this one Sepia Tone Done. Save that in your Photoshop folder or someplace you can get to it. We'll turn that one in for the first grade, then click OK. Once it's saved, we need to back up and get back to the original picture. Go to Edit, Undo the Photo Filter, and Edit, Undo that Desaturate to get us back to the full color image. The next one is called Duotone. We're going to turn this into, instead of a black and white image, it's going to be black and any other color. Go to Image, Mode, Grayscale. We need to get rid of all of the color information. Click Discard. Image, Mode, sorry, Adjustments. I always have to look for it. Maybe it is Mode. There it is. I'm sorry, Image, Mode, Duotone. It's underneath Grayscale. From here, yours is probably going to revert to black. Mine's already blue because I, I practiced with it this morning. But click on whatever this color box is here. Then choose another color on the rainbow. Anything but black will do. It can be blue, purple, orange, red, green. I'm going to go with the purple. Choose it on the rainbow first. Then start clicking over here in this square for either a light purple or a dark purple. And you should see it give you a preview back behind all these boxes. Click OK. Sometimes it makes you type letters here. I mean, you could name it purple if you wanted to. But really for this assignment, any letters will do. If it won't let you click OK, just type blah, blah, blah right here. Once you've chosen your first ink color, then click OK. Now you have a duotone toned image. Whatever that color is, doesn't have to be purple. File, save a copy, call this one do a tone done or duo done, whatever you want to call it. I prefer that you change the Photoshop document into, I won't let us do JPEG this time. Let's go ahead and leave it as JPEG. That would be just fine. Then click save. I'm oh, sorry, let's leave it as PSD. That would be just fine. Then save. Then go to edit undo duotone, edit undo grayscale. Our last one is a duotone with gradient map. Go to image, adjustments, desaturate, then image, adjustments, I always have to look for it, gradient map. When you choose the pull down menu, skip basics, go to any color you like. I've got purples open right now. Uh, blues, purples, and reds tend to look the best. You can choose the triangle next to it and then pick any of the combinations of gradient maps. Just something that looks very different than your original picture. I'm going to go with that. Again, you can choose any of these colors. You can choose pastels and neutrals and greens and oranges. Whatever you like, click OK. And then finally, file, save a copy. This is called do a tone gradient map. I'm just going to call it GM. Um, it should revert to a JPEG, then click save and OK. And now you have three items to turn in on Schoology today.